Welcome back to Info Squad, where information equals freedom. Since June 12th, the supervolcano at Yellowstone has been hit by a series of earthquakes. Over 30 have been recorded since the swarm began last week. Scientists from the University of Utah constantly monitor the volcano at Yellowstone. They released a statement saying the epicenter of the shock was located in Yellowstone National Park, about eight miles northeast of West Yellowstone in Montana. This is the largest earthquake to hit Yellowstone since March 30, 2012. This earthquake has been a part of an energetic sequence of earthquakes in the same area that began in June 12. As of June 19, 443 events have been recorded. Most of these events range from a magnitude of 0 to 1. This may seem small but can be alarming since it shows signs of seismic activity which could in turn be the warning signs of a pending eruption. We have been making videos already warning about the uptick in volcanic activity around the world and that the signs are showing one of these supervolcanoes could potentially blow at any moment. What would happen if Yellowstone's volcano were to erupt? It's very possible that the sun would be blocked out for months, and the models show that North America would be covered in a blanket of ash, with some areas being three feet deep. This event is definitely worth keeping your eyes on. Yellowstone's supervolcano is packed with tremendous power. Let's just hope this ticking time bomb has a few more ticks left before it blows. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below. If you like what we're doing here at Info Squad, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next video.